Hey there! In this video, we're going to explore Gibbs sampling, a powerful method used when we need to generate samples from complex multidimensional distributions. Let's start by setting up our problem. Imagine we want to sample points from a two dimensional normal distribution. It has a specific shape, a high density region around the center, maybe tilted due to correlation between our variables, x and y. Now, Typically, sampling directly from this joint distribution, getting an X and Y together at the same time can be mathematically difficult or computationally expensive. We might know the equation for the density, but turning that into random samples isn't straightforward. However, there's a catch. While the joint distribution is hard, the conditional distributions are often easy. That means if we fix Y to a specific value, it's easy to sample a random X. And if we fix x, it's easy to sample a random y. This is the key insight behind Gibbs sampling. But how does the algorithm actually work? We start by picking a random starting point. Let's say here. First, we hold our y value fixed. We look at the conditional distribution for x along this line. We sample a new value for x from this simpler 1D distribution. This moves us horizontally to a new position. Next, we hold this new x value fixed. We look at the conditional distribution for y along this vertical line. We sample a new y, moving us vertically to our next point. We simply repeat this process. Sample x given y. Then sample y given x. Over time, this zigzag path explores the space. Ideally, after many steps, the collection of points we visited will match our target distribution. We'll have many samples in the high density center and fewer in the low density tails, just as we wanted. But Gibbs sampling isn't perfect. Let's look at a potential pitfall. Imagine a distribution with two disconnected high probability regions, like one at 0, 0 and another at 1, 1, with zero probability everywhere else. If we start at 0, 0, we can only move along the x or y axis. But since the probability everywhere else is zero, we're stuck. We can never reach the other island at 1, 1, because we can make the diagonal leap required to get there. Another issue is what we might call probability spikes or slow mixing. If our distribution has two regions separated by a very low probability valley, our sampler might get stuck in one region for a long time. It will eventually cross over, but it might take millions of steps to do so, making the algorithm inefficient. To summarize, Gibbs sampling allows us to sample from complex multivariate distributions by iteratively sampling from simpler conditional distributions. It's a fundamental tool in statistics and machine learning, provided we are careful about convergence and connectivity. And that basically wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this explanation helpful, give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to stay up to date with everything I post on this channel. See you in the next one. Bye bye.